Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and I love teaching about magic. If you have a question about spells, the law of attraction, spirituality, witchcraft, Slavic folk magic, spirits, divination, you can join me on Sundays at the Live Magic Q&A where we record an episode of my podcast, Magic and the Law of Attraction, and then I answer your questions on anything mystical or magical live over Zoom. Just go to spellsquad.com to get the link to join me in the clubhouse. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you get a gentle, magical reminder and you'll be the first witch to see whenever anything new goes up. Here's a great tidbit from one of our past Q&As answering a really important spiritual question. So Nirvanya says, can you talk about how to perform a spell with your awesome new fox figure oil candle? Does it work similar to the cat? Name them, oil for seven days, feed catnip, light on day seven. You could potentially work with it that way, but the fox is different. The fox is for getting something quickly, right? If you think about a fox, a fox is smart, crafty, and quick, right? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, right? That's your getting all the letters in on your typing. If you went to typing class, you know that phrase. <laughs> what, what did you kids do keyboarding classes? I don't know if you guys even have that. We used to have typing back in high school, back in my day, back in my day, Sunny, we used to have typing. So, um, so the Fox figure old candle is really about quickness. So if you want something you want quick, it can be used in that direction. Another direction you can use the Fox is for having, um, I think it's called the fast Fox candles it's like for speeding up a spell. Like you want something right now, that Fox will get it for you right now. Another way you can work with a fox is you can work in it to be crafty about something. So maybe you've got a tricky situation that you, you're really not sure how you're going to you know, work that situation. Let's say you've got a tricky situation at your job or a tricky situation with a family relationship or something like that. And you're really not quite sure how you're going to get out of something or how you're going to you know, make it work for you in that way. So the fox can be really good because foxes are very smart. It's about cleverness and it's about kind of like an energy of um, just craftiness. Like it's crafty, like that you figure out a solution when that doesn't appear to be a solution around. So I often think of using fox candle for spells where you're like, I have a problem and I don't know what to do about it. The fox candle can give you that brilliant idea that will get you out of it, or even give you circumstances that will get you out of a tricky situation. Or um, fox can be used for speeding up something. So you want, you need something right now. You can do a green fox to get money right now, or you could do an orange fox to open up opportunities right now. So if you really need something fast, it's a great way to work. Now, fast is relative. You know what I mean? It's like, do you really need, sometimes we need something fast and we definitely have a time limit on something. Like we need to have something. Sometimes we just want it fast. And I think that that's something you have to consider in your magic. Do you just want it fast or do you really need it fast? And if you are needing it fast, the Fox candle will be there. If you're just, your preference is to have it fast, you know, it may or may not be the right candle for that but it's definitely one for when you need it fast. I think that's a great way to work with it. But I love that Fox candle. It is the cutest candle in the world. So cute. Like there's so much detail on it. It's just a really, really cute candle, really cute mold. We love it so much at our shop, our little Fox 